Ladies and Glaswegians, well, it's not exactly Glasgow, it's East Kilbride, but it's, you know, round the corner, I think. And so, we will do our usual thing, we'll have a listen to a tune, see what it sounds like, have a listen to the pickups, and then I shall tell you what I can about it. So, let's do that. <laughs>
Yes, so as has become sort of normal now, uh, let's just have a listen to the pickup that I've been using, which is the bridge end, on Noisy. <laughs> for a budget instrument, I would venture. Okay, so, uh, yes. Come over here, please. Thank you. And then, something, yes, a bit closer, a bit closer if you don't mind. Thank you, thank you, yes. Okay, so, uh, pickups, 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 pickups. Oh, goodness. Right, so, starting with the bridge, uh, we shan't, can we, can we say everything? I think we can say it. If I lean back a bit like that, that might help. Hmm, Okie dokie, and into the position between the bridge and the centre. Sounds like a strap to me. Into the centre. Isn't it? Yeah, between the centre and the neck. And the neck. Fabulous. Let's have a look. So well, Westfield guitars. I have enormous respect for Westfield guitars. They were well made. It's unknown as to where they were made, but we can only guess probably uh, when they moved into mass production that uh, the guitars were manufactured probably somewhere in Southeast Asia. But China or Korea or somewhere like that because the absolutely sod all information about them. There's a an almost extinct website that you can find on the web, but it doesn't really tell you much. There's a little bit of info on Wiki, and again, it doesn't tell you much. And there's no discernible um, ID on the guitar as to you know. There's no serial number or anything like that. Nothing on the back plate, nothing on the neck, nothing, I suppose if I took it apart, which I'm going to have to, and I'll go into that in a couple of minutes. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the construction and components and what not. Well, uh, I'm going to have a guess at being a best wood body. Um, it's, I would say, is solid wood, but I will find out soon. I'll, I'll have to spill the beans. So, uh, as with any Strat, as we know, or Strat alike, ST-type guitar, uh, we've got two tones and one volume. Um, there is never ever, or, well, all right, never, gen generally speaking, you will not get a tone control for the bridge pickup on the Stratcaster. Uh, the tone controls operate the middle and the neck positions. You see, uh, on this one, the tone pot for the middle position uh, will turn until you get fed up doing it. It is not operational. So, for not... Yeah, well, anyway, if, the, the, if a new tone pot arrives or if I've got no, one knocking about, then I will do a cheeky midweeker on... Um, how to replace a pot. It's pretty easy and uh, take photos, that's my advice. So uh, construction, yes I would say basswood body, that's my guess. Uh, certainly a maple neck looks, well it, do, well it does look like Canadian rock maple, I, but maple, 
Yes. And you'll note that there is no skunk stripe, which means that the truss rod went in before the rosewood, and it is rosewood, before the rosewood cap went on. Very coincidentally, uh, Westfield ceased production in 2013, which was also the same year that the CITES restrictions, which I'm sure you know about, um, uh, came into force about uh, importing and exporting exotic woods, rosewood being one of them. Uh, so whether that had anything to do with it or not, I do not know. But a rosewood fretboard it is, and we've got just, you know, standard acrylic dot markers there. But these guitar, it's, honestly, it is lamentable that uh, Westfield jacked in. Maybe the quality of the guitars exceeded the price point. That they could say, oh, I don't really know, I don't know, I don't know. But certainly they're really, really well appointed. All of these pickups are popping out roughly uh, in the late fives, which is very healthy and very respectable indeed. Uh, around the back here of the headstock, you've got really quality Goto style. Uh, I don't know what the ratio is, but they're going to be 14 to 1 plus, I would say. Plus, I would say. And they're excellent. Uh, you've only got uh, one string tree on there which to my way of thinking is the mark of a quality built instrument like the American Strats and and in all honesty if you're not brand conscious I haven't played an American Strat that was any better than this really it's, a, it's an absolutely superb instrument but you know brand consciousness is around and it does affect us all and you know oh you're doing playing one of those never even heard of it well that well they are they are notable guitars uh yes east Kilbride, bride uh 1995 until 2013 uh out of um a garage somewhere and uh i think that there's, uh, there's been a couple of famous players who use them um uh, one of the guys from Fly, uh, I would assume the guitarist, and uh, also somebody from a band called Felon, another, I think they're a Scottish band as well, Felon. So, just just really, really well made with really nice components, apart from, apart from tone pots, which seem to eat themselves somehow. So, a real... A, uh, uh, would I have one of these or a Squire? Well, I don't either, because I like both of them. Uh, Squires are brilliant, brilliant guitars. My two very favourites, uh, as you, if you've seen these before, as you know, are the um, 1990s Yakko plant models. They have very, very powerful pickups, very well made, very nice to play. And for some reason, the 20th anniversary Squires were excellent as well don't know why they just work they just seem to be better than the others can't explain that i'm sorry uh so uh really honestly if you're after a strat and you're on a budget and you want something that that plays and sounds brilliant without i mean really without breaking into a sweat never mind breaking the bank uh get yourself a westfield they are superb absolutely uh, uh actually uh, I think I saw one of John Coupland's uh, videos. He plays a he plays a Westfield. Oh no no. See yes he plays Westfield acoustic. No it does have two string trees. I'm sorry I'm as bland as a bat aren't I? So yeah there you go. Um, the action is absolutely brilliant. It's at one point two five. It's so just so playable. And I would, uh, I would have one of these as, uh, as my Strat go-to absolutely all day long. And you don't really, well, you don't really need, I suppose, at the kind of price that you would pay for these, you don't really need to worry about, you know, if, it, if you're going to hurt it or anything like that. So great for rehearsals, chuck it in the boot of the car, it'll be absolutely fine. And if it's not, get another one for not for not much money. Uh, so, 
I have, yes, as I say, a great deal of respect and admiration for West Wing guitars. Very well made, very well put together, plenty of quality components, and they are ju they are just absolutely ace. So, the, yeah, and the uh, the vibrato system is absolutely perfect. So we'll have this on the bench, probably on Wednesday, if the part or parts have arrived, and we'll have a look at uh, swapping a tone pot. So, that's it from me and the fabulous Westfield, and it's uh, Adios Amigos. See you on Wednesday. Terra. <laughs>